Good job, IGN. You've missed the point completely. Hello everyone, this is Gene from NYC again, and I'm back with another video. So, I just came across this article on IGN by one Casey DeFreitas. DeFreitas? I'm not quite sure how you say it. Anyway, the title of the article is FF7 Remake. Tifa isn't getting a smaller chest, just a proper bra. I've read through this article, and I don't want to be mean, but I need to be honest. This article is pointless because it misses the point. Casey in this article is completely missing the point of why there are people who are so up in arms and so concerned about Tifa's breast size in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, I can't speak for others, but I will speak for myself. My concern is from an artistic perspective. I personally have no issue with uh, Tifa's look in the remake. She looks like herself. I recognize her. But even I noticed that her breast did look smaller. This goes beyond just her having on a bra or what looks like uh, it's either a bra, a sports bra, or a compression top. Right, this, this goes beyond her wearing a garment that lifts and separates. This, at least to me, is a matter of artistic intent and artistic integrity, staying true to the design of the original. What I dislike about this article is that, first of all, uh, Casey makes an appeal to reality. There's a point where she goes into literal real-life breast physics and studies and consultants. She says that she spoke to a bra consultant. She talks about exercise and how women in mixed martial arts have, have had to complain to Reebok about uh, the sports bras that, that they use and all this other stuff. This, the problem I have with this is that it's an appeal to reality that makes no sense. None of this matters. Real life breast physics don't matter. This is a video game called Final Fantasy 7. I want to repeat that. Final Fantasy 7. Nothing makes sense from a realism standpoint. Okay, them giving Cloud noticeably muscular arms does not justify or explain how he's able to wield the Buster Sword. It's still bigger than he is. He would have to be the size of a giant to actually be able to wield that thing. If I remember correctly, there's one wind stance where he, with one hand, twirls the sword above his head. The giant Buster Sword, it looks like a giant cleaver, twirls it above his head like a helicopter blade or something. It doesn't make sense. Barrett has a gun arm for a hand. He has a gun arm for a prosthesis. Did he come from the from the FMA world before we ever heard of Full Metal Alchemist? Is that it? None of it makes sense. None of it is beholden to the physics or the realities of reality. But since she wants to bring up reality, I'm going to bring up reality too. The reality of breast size. If you've ever lost a significant amount of weight, if you are female or you know a woman who has lost a significant amount of weight, you will know that her breast got smaller. I've been through it. My mother's been through it. Most women I know have experienced it. When you are heavier, you have larger breasts because within the breast there is fat. Not, it's not all fat. It's not all fat. There's ducts for you know making milk because that's what our breasts are designed for to produce milk when we're nursing so we can feed the baby and all this other stuff. But fat is a significant portion of breast size. If you are bigger, you have larger breasts. If you are smaller, if you are slim, your breast 
typically are smaller too if they are natural. To be honest, by giving Tifa a large chest with a very small frame, what they're heavily implying is that she had a boob job because those typically don't match. Typically, if you are thin framed or very fit, and Tifa is supposed to be, they even said they were trying to make her look a little more athletic, uh, and, and she's always been a brawler type. So if you are a slim bodied athletic brawler, you probably don't have large breasts naturally. They just don't, don't go together. When you're slimmer, when you're smaller, your breasts shrink. When you are larger, they grow because there is fat there. The same body fat in your thighs and your rear is in your chest. And when you lose body fat, and especially when, especially if you're exercising and you're a high level uh, professional athlete or exercise enthusiast, so you think of uh, professional athletes, right? You think of Olympian level athletes, right? They typically don't have very large chest because they have trained their bodies to the point where their body fat is so low that they can't have sizable breasts. They don't have enough fat on their bodies anywhere for it. So if we're being honest, if we're going to make an appeal to realism, Tifa's body taking into account that she's a brawler, that she's supposed to be athletic, right? Her body should look more like an MMA fighter. She should be made of hard muscle. She should have larger thighs. She should have slender but muscular arms. And she should have tiny breasts, if any at all. If you look at most female mixed martial artists, they're not t very top heavy. But guess what? Tifa doesn't have that look at all. Her look is very slender, very soft. She has large breasts. Why? Because she's an artistic depiction. And the art, the artistic intent of certain elements of her character, right, is reflected in her look. She's the motherly character. She's the surrogate mother uh, for Marlene. She has this very motherly personality. And mother characters in Japanese art and other arts and other cultures and countries and whatnot is represented by having a heavy chest, right? This goes beyond just, you know, men being men and, and men liking large-breasted women, which, keep in mind, is not always true. Not every man likes large breasts on a woman. Most men don't seem to mind, in my, in, in, in my knowledge and experience, but not every guy is looking for, you know, Dolly Parton, let's say, <laughs> right? Not every man's looking for, you know, a heavy-breasted woman or is interested in that. Men are visual, but they don't always share the same visual taste. But getting back to the point, if we're going to make an appeal to realism, Tifa's going to look very different. Tifa would not look like Tifa. Tifa's breasts are a part of her design. They're a part of the visual narrative, the visual story being told about her. They indicate that She's a motherly figure. Same way Barrett's look is big and hyper-masculine and gruff and tough because it's part of his overall narrative, right? It shows that he's this big, tough guy. And then you see him with his daughter and you realize, oh, he has this soft side, right? What frustrates me about articles like Casey's is that there's, there's no consideration for artistic intent. There's, there's no critical thinking on the artistic side. Instead of wondering, well, why does it look this way? It's, I don't like it, let me bash it. Or in this case, a change was made, let me defend this change without understanding why said change was made. So again, this article this article is pointless because it misses the point. It misses the point by a country mile. What I and many others, at least to my knowledge, 
are concerned about is artistic integrity. Right? Being true to the design and true to the intent of, of the design. That Nomura and his team basically have to now submit their work to an ethics department and get their say or make adjustments based on their recommendations is concerning because as I said in another video that in my opinion is not is not the place of an ethics committee an ethics committee should not be weighing in on artistic depictions and artistic decisions Believe it or not, this isn't really about Tifa's breast. This is about, at least to me, it's not about Tifa's breast. Although that's the subject, right, that people seem to be rallying around. But to me, it isn't really about her breast. It's about, is the artist and his art team being allowed to be true to what they want to make? Is this truly Nomura's vision, or, or are we getting this toned-down, caged version because... Like many companies today, Square Enix does not want to offend. And they are trying to, to my knowledge anyway, uh, appeal to some sort of global standard, some sort of... Um, I don't know how you appeal. I can't even explain it. I don't know how you appeal to a global standard when there are so many different countries and cultures and everything else, and standards are different. Some places are more restrictive some are more permissive but this is art this is turning out to be I should say more and more art by committee and that committee is not the art committee and it's not the gamer committee and it's not the fan committee or community and when you have and at least to me when you have art by committee and it's not the right committee. It's not taking the right opinions into account, the opinions of the fans, the opinions of the artists. You're having a problem. Because it seems to me that Square Enix is trying to find an art style and find uh, designs and depictions. Not, n not just that are trying to skirt that line between pleasing the old heads like me and pleasing a younger, newer audience who may be more sensitive to hyper femininity, but it also seems like they are trying to create art for everybody. And you can't, at least to me, you cannot do that. When you try to create something for everybody, you create something for no one. Because you will turn both your original audience, me, right, people, me, people like me, I should say, who are familiar with the original game and want that, and you'll turn off people who are new to it and coming in from the outside and this is their first experience with Final Fantasy. So I'm really hoping that uh, whoever makes the shots, whoever makes the calls at Square Enix in Japan, right, maybe they're hearing about this backlash in America and maybe this would make them uh, give thought and take pause and see whether or not this is really uh, worth it. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they will course correct. It's not a huge deal. And it's less about the look, at least for me, it's less about the look because again, as I said in two videos now, I have no issue with the way Tifa looks. I think she looks fine. But the issue is the intent and the issue is why these changes are coming about. It's less about, at least for me, it's less about the change itself and more about what's bringing it about. So anyway, I just wanted to make this somewhat quick video and just express my thoughts on this absolutely pointless article. So I hope you have a good day. I'm hoping to have a good Sunday. Today, Saturday was, oh God, shopping. I have to do so much shopping, cleaning, doing laundry, having to haul stuff up and down five flights of stairs and three floors is exhausting. I'm not the teenage superwoman that I used to be. I'm old and I'm fat. <laughs> this is really hard on me now. So um, anyway, enough of my grousing. Uh, I hope you all have a good day or a good night. Be safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.